What's up, everybody? Happy Friday. <laughs> Had to think for a minute. Days kind of run together on us, don't they? Yeah, they do. Anyway, we got some odd and end shit to do today. First thing we're going to be doing is putting a, trying to fix the tiller tire, see, what, see if we got to get a tube or what, what happened to it there, or if it's the valve stem, something. So we're going to go look at it, hopefully to get a little bit of tillering done today. And we got to pick up some walnuts. I know you seen us last week picking up some walnuts for the trap, and now we're picking up walnuts to eat. So we'll be picking up it, them. I don't know if we'll get to holding them out on this video. It may be the next video, but we're going to get them. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Allergies. Bless, bless you. But we are going to get them enough picked up to eat on this winter. So. Yeah. But I guess the first project of the day, tiller time. Yep. So let's go down here to the barn and see what we got to do. Alright, so if y'all remember a few videos back when we was trying to get the garden broke up for fall, the tiller come completely off the rim on me. Right there. So, what we gotta do is move a few things. I'm gonna pick it up and have him slide a block underneath of it. And that way, we can pull the tire off. That's the plan anyway. So these are real easy to take off, honestly. Probably the easiest thing I've ever had. It's just basically this little key right here. Push that pin out, take that. Of course, we don't want to lose anything. And then it should Come right off. So we're gonna take it back here to the truck. I've gotta get the air compressor turned on, get some air built up, and then we're gonna to try to see what the hell's wrong with it. So, should be fun. You good? Yeah, I'm good. All right, so, while the air compressor builds up, I'm gonna to try to pop this back on the rim, hopefully. I'll get M to hold the camera, because these Fords have nothing to a magnet can stick to except for the tailgate so we'll let him run this and i'm gonna see if i can pop it back on come off easy enough they never go back on easy enough or it could pull me which would be fine too let me get it I'm not a tire guy so I'm sure somebody's gonna have something smart ass to say. If I can get it to work.
So if you got one that's not on the rim, sometimes you can do this and get it back on. Sometimes. It helps when the tire's up and down too. But what I'm looking for is to get some air in it and see where it's leaking from. Soapy water. Did you find it? No. I found one that's not deep enough to the uh. real man. I said it works better if you can get it like on your, leave it on your tiller. I might have to go put it back on the tiller and put the weight to it. I may have to. She didn't have it on, I thought she did, but we've been fighting with this thing, fighting with this thing. Put two ratchet straps on it, just got mad, tuck it off, so I'm gonna order a damn tube. And just for shits and giggles, I said, well, I'm gonna put this on it. And I said, watch this damn thing air up, and guess what it did? Went back on the damn rim. So I'm gonna check and see where it is leaking from with just a soap water mixture. leaking around the rim. <laughs> yeah, that's bubble. Yeah, it's leaking. We're gonna have to tube it. I figure we would. It's just leaking around the rim. On the one side. On the one side. Which don't make no sense because it wasn't off the rim when we uh, come down here and just aired it up. So well, that's not that big of a deal. We can tube this thing. And uh, I'm gonna look and see how much one's gonna cost. Shouldn't be much, but you never know. Let's go put it back on. Move the tiller, because I pulled it back out. We've done all kinds of crazy. Let's go slide it back on. We'll pull it back here. I'll get the tube to order. They ain't very expensive. About 15 bucks. Four. Huh? Four. For two of them. <laughs> so, of course, watch yourself, Neil. You know. He's trying to kill me, guys. No. So, not too bad. We'll get them on order and 
get them in here and try to get that done before this falls over with. Try. I'll still kick it out. Well, you ain't fast enough. I would have got it kicked out if you hadn't put it against the tires. Shut your face. Nobody asked you. Oh, bitch. Cool. Since you want to knock this turn camera off. Nope, I'm filming you. Alright, so I guess we figured out what we needed. Low shop up. And the stupid concrete. Closing doors up with one hand is fucking shitty. I guess now we're gonna go try to pick up some walnuts and see what else we got going on. All right, so Em's gonna grab a bucket. I'm gonna walk up here and grab uh, whatever this thing's called, mineral tub. And we're gonna go pick up some walnuts first thing. Guys, if like, I don't know, I may have said this in previous video. If y'all have cattle or know somebody has cattle, see if they got these things. They are handy as shit. Walnuts. They are handy as a shirt pocket. Which I don't have ever. Generally. Anyway. Let's go over here to a walnut tree and get him some delicious so, Emma's over here cheating on me. She won't let me get ahead. <laughs> All right, so Em, you want to tell them what you use walnuts for primarily? What you use them for? Zucchini breads or just different types of nut breads, like banana bread, stuff like that. So why don't you want to go to the store and just buy your walnuts? Because they're expensive and you can just get a small amount. And we have a tree. We've got a tree that provides them for us. So. I've said this many a times, guys. said it or we've said it on here but we've stopped living with the land and started living on, on it the land provides yes we still had to go to stores and buy stuff but when the land provides you with a food source of some sort why not take advantage of it and right here at our back door pretty much the land has the land the Lord has provided us with a tree. All we gotta do is put in a deal to work. Also I'll use it for my sweet potato casserole on, on the holidays. I forgot about that. That shit is delicious. <laughs> I wish I could send every, every one of y'all a little bit of that because that stuff is fire. <laughs> but so what we're gonna do is pick up what two or three five gallon buckets full? Yeah. forget if you're doing this be prepared especially if you're doing it in the windy you might get hit in the head just FYI maybe you'll get to see one of us get hit in the head let's not <laughs> let's not say we did <laughs> I almost failed but next video guys we'll haul these out for you I'm, I'm going to try to keep y'all where y'all can see. But. 
what a D. So we got three five gallon buckets full, right? Uh -huh. Which is almost a whole mineral bucket. We'll talk to y'all when we get the truck out of this wind. Alright, so maybe y'all can hear us now. Down wind picked up right there at the end. We don't know all the uses there is. There's a bunch of uses for black walnuts. We don't know all the uses. There's what some medicinal uses is. We use it for what two main things: food and dying traps, yep. and that's it. Uh, so this batch here, the last batch, probably will not be any good by the time they come out of the water. So we won't, we won't try to hold them out. But this batch here, uh, this weekend, will be a project for me and her to go through, hold them out, wash them off. We'll show you all the steps. Uh, we kind of got to do them the same way though. Yeah, we got to do it the slow way, but we'll show y'all if y'all don't have all the fancy tools to do it with either. It ain't that big of a deal. It takes a little time, and uh, I don't mind doing it. You mind doing it? Like I said, we live too much off of, off or, we live on the land and not with the land, and I think that's a lot of the world's problem right now, is uh, we need to get more in tune with our ancestors i guess and start learning how to live with the land again and i think i think it would be better for the land and it'd be better for you for us as human beings as well but that's my opinion and opinions are like assholes everybody's got one but i've sat down the past couple weeks and just noticed all the changes in life i've noticed it for a while but really just start paying attention to human beings and as we drive around we see the homes are bigger and all that stuff more people stay inside nowadays and they get out and they might mow the yard but the rest of the time they're in the house so i think we need to start living more with it and i don't just own it but that's just my opinion right yep i mean i have the same opinion but yeah that's just our opinion our opinion so we're gonna go take these to the shop unload them in the shop and see what else we got to do if we ain't got nothing else going on on this video then we'll cut y'all loose and see y'all on the next one but let's go get them unloaded first right yeah all right let's go Is it? Yeah. All right, give you a little update on the uh, dye water, which we will probably be doing probably next week. Be dyed. It's turning black. It's turning black. So that's another th like like we said before. That's another thing we do with the walnuts. Um, something we got to be doing either this winter. Of course, the wind's gonna pick up again. Of 
or next spring is going through a tomato cage is figuring out what we're going to do as far as tomatoes if we're going to cage them again or if we're going to do a different method it's a little easier the cages are nice but they are a pain in the ass when it comes to pulling stuff also when it comes to actually getting the tomatoes and when it comes to actually getting tomatoes so if anybody has any ideals let us know in the comments of, of what we can try what we can look up I'll be, I'll, I'll be more than happy to try something different mm -hmm. but uh so we come down here just to check on this I gotta grab that trash right there I don't know how the hell I got down here come down here check on that see how it's doing it's just we're running out of time today uh we had run in town this morning and and uh so we got back kind of late got a late start to this uh, you know to the chores for the day didn't we oh yeah and then we got live which you know this is friday so we got live that we're fixing to do here in a couple hours so <laughs> trying to figure out what which direction to go so we're gonna go and try to figure that out and figure out what we're gonna do y'all and i gotta cook something before live because we always get on that subject of food yeah and we about to and we're sitting over there like oh yeah <laughs> we're hungry so anyhow we gotta figure out what to do with y'all and what we're gonna be doing next and then uh we'll let y'all know something in a second all right so something we're gonna start doing every mondays and, and friday's videos is start giving y'all a fall color update i guess so that's what you're seeing right here is the over top of while i'm talking <laughs> is the fall colors how the trees are changing we're going to do that until the leaves are off the trees so we figure we come up here and just can't kind of give y'all a look see and see see what y'all think hopefully y'all can see it pretty good hopefully y'all have seen it pretty good it's i would love to get the drone up and i will get the drone up the next day that we're home and the it's wind not windy. it's not super windy it has been it's almost like spring around here again you know it's kind of warming up and then hey, excuse me i'm trying to do a video <laughs> it's warming up and then the uh the wind is just it's like normal spring weather mm -hmm. i don't know it's weird anyhow um i'll try to get the drone up next time hopefully maybe we'll get a calm day and i can get some drone shots for you of the colors and stuff spread it's one of our favorite times of the year <laughs> and just like spring, just like spring. you know sneezes are full blown head off yep <laughs> so anyway guys uh we're gonna have some hunting videos soon we went hunting actually tuesday this week mm -hmm. is uh it's something sacred to us we don't we're not gonna pack the uh, camera on the first hunts. If we, you know, like our first squirrel hunt or our first deer hunt, we actually went deer hunting. Got busted by a spike about 10 yards behind us. He, he snuck in on us, popped out of nowhere like they normally do, and uh, never winded us. He tried like hell, but. Yeah, never. he couldn't figure out what we, what we were, so he busted us. Well, I think he caught one of us moving is what i think yeah probably and uh because he tried he leaked his nose he's trying to get the scent and he stared us he stared a hole through us yep. for a long time but we hunt ground on public land so that's just the it but like i was saying to us our first hunt of the year is always sacred for us as a family um regardless if we get anything or not so we won't be filming the first hunt but we will film every hunt after and kind of show you the trials and tribulations of what we go through to uh try to bring home meat yep as many of y'all know we didn't get to go scouting so seeing that was awesome for us because you know yeah we didn't get to go scouting we did do so. a little scouting yesterday before we left uh yeah found some found something we're gonna try out hopefully hopefully it turns out but yeah. no we kept breaking down when we should have been out scouting yeah. and had to wait on parts and had to wait on parts and anyway we're finally up and in the woods so should be getting some hunting videos out maybe this time next week monday's gonna be a probably hole in the uh 
walnuts and taking care of them. It's and, a process. Uh, it's a process. The cooking channel, guys, I'm sorry, but it's hunting season now. We was hoping to be back on it, but we're going to put it on hold for a little while until we get some uh, free time to be able to do it. Um, so, I guess without rambling on, of course, my camera done went black. <laughs> without rambling on anymore i know this is a short kind of cringy video we just kind of brought you along for what we're doing today uh i know you seen us picking up walnuts last week but we picked up some more this time for us to eat mm -hmm. and we're gonna try to get some tiller in today but i'm gonna have to wait for wait parts. wait for parts <laughs> we do a lot of, we don't we don't like to run the town very often we do we do a lot of order but sometimes we have to run the town to pay bills and stuff yeah but we try to avoid town as often as possible. It's a plague. <laughs> and it's getting getting more and more we're we're trying to work it out when we can. Yeah. But uh anyway guys, we'll we'll let y'all go. We'll let y'all get busy for the day. Thank you for joining us. Yep. And uh hopefully you found this bit video kinda interesting. Uh, at least a little. <laughs> yeah. Maybe just a little. Just a little. If you at least like this a little bit, hit that thumbs up button. <laughs> And uh, I guess share it if you want to. <laughs> it would make her smile. <laughs> anyway, guys. We, we love you. We love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Mm -hmm. And stay living country. Till next time. Till next time, guys. Bye. Bye.